2011 Honda Pilot front brakes. I'm doing pads and rotors. Uh, first, what we want to do is jack up the vehicle. Here's a good spot right here on this pinch weld. Um, right here, you may run into problems, but I go out on this pinch weld right here. I'm going to use a three ton jack. Um, a 22 millimeter, take the wheels off. I got it lifted in the air. Go ahead and get these off. And of course, put the lug nuts in a safe spot because we would definitely renew, re, reuse them. I'm going to take the wheel off. Here's the uh, brake assembly. Got my caliper, my rotor. And uh, I'm going to be doing front rotors and new front pads. So first thing we want to do is get the caliper bolts off right here. And they are 17 millimeter. These are the caliper bracket bolts those are 19 millimeter All right now we're just gonna get these ones got my 17 millimeter wrench um kind of a bigger bolt so it might be a little harder to get off than like say if it was like a 14 millimeter but uh go ahead and get this out put these in a safe spot of course All right, that's my top one. And after I get these out, I'm gonna set this caliper across the steering knuckle and rest it to protect the brake line. So I got this out, put those there. I'm gonna wiggle this off. It might take a, you know, a little muscle to get it off or you might need to use a pry bar, but you could just wiggle it off. This one came off pretty easy. And like I said, I'm going to set it gently over this way. Gently over the um, control arm there to protect the brake line. Don't let it hang. Uh, here's our pads. Our pads have little springs in them. These aren't a big deal at all. You just pop them out with a flathead. Your new pads may come with new springs or may not. If they don't, then just reuse the old ones. All right, you can also use a flathead to gently pop these pads out. Be careful not to scratch the rotor. Okay. Okay, got that out. Now, if uh, I'm doing the whole rotor, so if you're just doing a pad slot, you could just skip ahead because I'm going to take the rotor off now. This bracket comes off if you're replacing the rotor. It's a 19 millimeter, two bolts. It holds the bracket in place. Go ahead and get these out. Um, you could probably, if you have like a big 19 millimeter wrench, you could probably just muscle them out. But I have a, I have a air gun, so I'm just gonna just zap them out, make it a lot quicker for me. Okay, I got that out. Now, when you take these bolts out, the caliper bracket is gonna want to just fall. I was holding mine, that's why I didn't fall. But uh, so just be ready to catch this and put it to the side. All right, so I got that set aside. Here's my rotor. Yours will probably have these two machine uh, bolts right here. <clears throat> they need to come undone. If you're lucky, you could get these out with like a, just a regular screwdriver. You may need a tool like this. It's called like an impact drive. You hit it with a hammer and twist it. And then I had to go get a uh, little air hammer and, and just gently hit the machine pull from the from the side to get it loose it could be a real pain it could be a real hold up so uh you know you can research and do what you gotta do um, but i got the rotor off and uh here's my here's my rotor from honda it's my new one uh i definitely clean it with like a rag and some brake clean so i'm gonna get this old one off and i'll put my new one on and then i'll King put wheels. the machine the screws back in it and just take take a Hold screwdriver and just screw them back in uh pop these pins out put some lube, lube lubricant on them and put them back in okay and then you can clean the hardware out make it so there's no you know dust or dirt on them um but yeah after you get that done we'll put this back on put it in and then i just hand thread them to get them started and then i will I'll tighten them both down. So once I got those down, I got my um, pads here. These are also from Honda. Um, and I 
compress my caliper piston. You gotta do both at the same time. Use a tool like this. All right. And uh, my pads came with the sensor already attached, so I'm gonna put them on. They also came with like shims I had to install, but I didn't include that in the video, so my bad about that. Put this on. If you're using anything like a pad, they might just come already all assembled assembled for you. Uh, the pad with the metal sensor goes on the inside. You put these springs in. It could be kind of tricky. Definitely use two hands. Then you put your caliper on. Make sure your brake line's not twisted. And then uh, tighten your caliper bolts down. Like that. And uh, there you go. In the future, I'll put the uh, torque specs in the comments or the description, so check that. But, uh, you know, make sure they're nice and tight. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll get the uh, torque specs coming soon. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you out.